Right. So, this is another way of proving the uh, same thing. So, we have got uh, as far as connectedness is concerned, we have analyzed the image. You can say image of a connected subset of real line is connected, right? Because connected subsets are only intervals and the image is connected, so that is interval. So, another way of saying is continuity preserves connectedness, image of connected sets are, so let us write. Uh, F D to R continuous D connected. Another way of writing implies F of D connected. Okay. Next, we want to analyze compactness. Whether like connectedness, whether compactness is preserved or not. Let us look at a very special case. We know that compact subsets of real line are those which are closed and bounded. But let us look at very special example when the compact set is a closed bounded interval, right? So f is a function on a b to r continuous, right? We want to analyze what can we say about f of a b, the range of f, right? You can also interpret it this way. We took intervals, image of an interval was an interval. Now we have specialized the interval to be a close bounded interval, right? And so the image of this is going to be interval because AB is an interval, right? The question is, is it a close bounded interval or not? Earlier theorem said F is continuous, I is interval, F of I is an interval. Now we are specializing, if it is a close bounded interval, can I say F of I is a so, we know this call it as uh, some set A, we know A is an interval. So, the question is, is A a closed bounded interval? Is it a closed bounded interval? It is an interval we know, right? Now let us, A is closed. Let us analyze one of them. A is closed. So what I have to show? If A is closed, what is to be shown? Whenever I take a sequence in A, converging somewhere, that image must be in A. So let a n belong to A, A n converge to A. To show A belongs to A. What does A n belong to A imply? Which is equal to F of A b implies A n is equal to F of X n for some X n belonging to A b. Right? So, implies by compactness x n has the sequence x n has a convergent subsequence. So, let us write that also x n k converging to a point, uh, there is no x used somewhere, so x belonging to a b. Right? So, we are transferring the problem from the domain uh, range to the domain and doing property there now back. So, do I go back? Implies f continuous f of x and k converges to f of x. 
f continuous right but where does f of x n k converge f of x n is a n a n is converging to a so where does the subsequence converge to a same limit right so implies f of x is equal to a limit is same right because x n k is a subsequence of x n that means a n k corresponding a n k will be a subsequence of a n a n converges to a so that has to converge to the same limit so that means whenever i take any point in a if a n converges to a then a must be having a pre image that means a belongs to the range right so implies a belongs to f of ab that is equal to a so a is close a is bounded i already shown it is close we have to show a is bounded that means the range if i take the function ab in the close bounded interval ab the range has to be a interval we already know it has to be a closed interval we know we only want to show it is bounded right if not if the range of a function is not bounded means what that means in the range there are points where you can go away and away from something right so let us write a is bound suppose not then there exists right uh, if not there exists points a n belonging to a b say that f of a n right let us write mod f of a n goes to infinity is it okay if the range is not bounded there must be a sequence in the domain right which is either going to plus infinity or minus infinity so let us say mod of that goes to plus infinity is that okay now ans belong to ab so again compactness an must have a convergent subsequence converging in ab so an belonging to ab implies there is a and k a subsequence a and k converging to a belonging to a oh sorry i shouldn't write a because a is the end point so something else x x belonging to a but i have got continuity so f of x n must f of a n k must converge but can f of a n converge because the original sequence is okay or if you like divergent let me write to be more precise instead of this let us write is bigger than n for every n let us write that way then it makes it very clear if it is not bounded i can find points where value is bigger than right otherwise it will be less than or equal to bounded so at an the value is bigger than mod n so what is the value at f of an k <clears throat> it will be bigger than n k which is bigger than k anyway right is it okay so for every k absolute value of a and k so it cannot converge but other other side it should converge to implies f of a and k cannot converge but this star star plus continuity implies f a and k is is convergent 
So that is a contradiction, right? Because a and k converges to x, f is continuous. So f of that must converge. But here it is bigger than n k, bigger than k, so it cannot converge. So that is a contradiction. So we assume if not, that means if not bounded, then there is a problem. Suppose not, so that must be not true. Implies a is bounded. So what we have said that if the domain of the function is a closed bounded interval, then the range also is a closed bounded interval. Can I say something more about that closed bounded interval? What that should be? Anybody can guess. Yes. 